Hello, my name is Anton and it is time for another installment in our GTA 5 car series. On today's episode, I'm going to be driving the super cool Ferrari 812 Superfast. It's created by Peng00820, I believe is the username. And uh, we're going to go check out the vehicle, of course, at the first half of the episode here. I'm going to show you the model, talk a little bit about the real life counterpart, and then we're going to do our time trial run starting from the dam, where this is where we are right now, on top of the dam here on overlooking Los Santos. And uh, we're going to race uh, through Vinewood down to the Quartz Center. So in the previous episode, I asked you guys to go into the comments and let me know how fast you think the Ferrari 812 Superfast will make it down to the Quartz Center. And that is what we're going to do today. I'm going to switch up the weather a little bit. It will be raining for our time trial run, which will make it I, I hope more exciting for our run. We'll see what happens there and there will be traffic. So I don't know. I got my work cut out for you, for me. We'll see how fast I can get down there. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look here at the Ferrari A12 super fast. Get ready to shift to the 12th dimension in the Ferrari A12 super fast grand tour. Introduced last year at the 2017 Geneva Motor Show, the A12 Superfast earns its name as it's the fastest and the most powerful Ferrari yet. And I gotta say, this is like the coolest name for a car ever. Um, uh, what do you drive? The Superfast! I mean, come on, how cool is that? Officially though, the name is homage to the Ferrari 4.9 Superfast, built back in the 1950s. The A12 is a successor to the F12 Berlinetta, with the updated design styling like the LED headlamps and the quad circular tail lights. And the curves? Oh, they're just oozing sex appeal. Ooh, so exciting. Under the A12 Superfast long nose, you'll find the most powerful naturally aspirated production car engine ever made. It's a six and a half liter V12 engine capable of producing 789 brake horsepower. This gets the A12 Superfast from zero to 60 in just 2.9 seconds. And from there, it just zooms to its 221 miles per hour top speed. The Superfast cockpit is a sublime blend of Italian style and astute ergonomics. There is no large central display screen, but rather all navigation, vehicle and infotainment information is delivered by smaller screens surrounding the large analog tachometer in front of the driver. The coolest part is that even the passenger gets their very own little display screen where they can keep track of what the driver is doing with those 789 horses. Contrasting saddle leather trim wraps around the dashboard as well as onto the seats, which can be customized down to the seatbelt color of your choice. Starting at about 300,000 and going as high as 800,000 depending on your configuration and options, there really isn't anything on the Ferrari E12 that isn't super. So there you go, guys. There is the F12 super fast. And again, how cool is that name? Super fast. Man, I wish that was my car. Maybe one day it will be. Who knows? Who knows? But you can see Peng did an awesome job putting the vehicle in the game. It looks fantastic. Just fabulous. And I love the yellow as well. Of course, Ferrari kind of known for its Ferrari red. But I decided to go with yellow for this episode because I kind of I kind of think it looks really cool as well and of course these Ferraris do come in yellow so with that done let's go ahead we're gonna do our time trial run and let's see how fast we can get down to the court center I'm gonna meet you at the starting line and then we'll take it from there okay you guys ready for this let's do our countdown in three two one go and we are off gonna watch out here it is very slippery because it is raining so I have to be really careful especially as you can see right there, we're just sliding, especially on this portion, because if you take a look on the right hand side of our vehicle, uh, it's there's a bit of a canyon there. Yep, there's definitely a bit of a canyon and you can definitely end up, see like that, you can definitely end up down in the canyon and that will be the end of our time trial run and we do not want to do that. So I'm going to take it a little easy right there as we come down the mountain here, get on pavement. And then we're going to blast our way th right through uh, Vinewood as quickly as we can while try trying to keep it together. Whoa, 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 whoa. Speaking of keeping it together, I just lost it. I just lost it and hit that vehicle. I hope they're okay. Oh, there's a big mark right there. So there's going to be some body damage at the end of this uh, time trial run. 
Definitely looking at some body damage there, but we're gonna try to squeeze. Oh, through these guys, sideswiping both of those cars. They're not gonna be too happy. Okay, that's gonna put a dent there on our time, and I think the police are after us. Uh-oh, somebody must have called it in. It was probably that guy that I smashed into and then just took off. So someone called the cops. The cops are after us. Oh, there's one right there. Watch out for this car. All right, here we go. Just putting my foot down right now. Trying to get away from the cops. That's definitely going to play a factor here in our time trial run as we try to get... Oh, there goes the fire hydrant. As we try to get to the court center, the cops are all over us. Oh, there comes another one right there. Oh, we just went right around him. That's going to make a bit of a difference here. Now with the police involved, I'm not, I can't go as fast as I wanted to. Not to mention, of course, it's super slippery. We're going to make a turn right here coming up. Get around these cars. Uh, that's definitely going to put a dent here on our time. All right, there we go. Let's open her back up. Give her a little bit more speed here as we come through all these turns. There's the court center entrance. Just going to cut right across the road like this. Oh, smash right into one of these lights. That's not good. That's not good. Come on, come on, come on, Ferrari. You can do it. You can do it. The grass is just too slippery. All right, here we go. Up the hill now. This is going to be the final push. Up the hill. I can do it. I believe in you, Ferrari. Let's do this. Final turn coming up right here. Slowing down a little bit for the turn as we smash into another light. Like I said, there's going to be some body damage at the end of this time trial run. And there you go. Final finish line and across the line. There it is. There we go. Wow, the car is smashed up. At least we did lose the cops. The cops are no longer after us. So there is a time trial run. We did that in two minutes and 39 seconds. So even with the police involved, even with the fact that it's really slippery out there, it's raining and I ended up hitting a bunch of things, I still did it in two minutes and 39 seconds. So let's see here who gets the shout out. And the shout out is gonna go to Firestone Gaming who gets two minutes and 40 seconds for my run. I was one second under that, one second. That's how close it was. Two minutes and 40 seconds. So shout out to you, Firestone. Great guess, man. That is awesome, fantastic guess. Honorable mentions will be, and a lot of you guys actually guessed in this uh, time frame, uh, anywhere between two minutes and 30 seconds going up to basically three minutes. So good guesses, everybody, but uh, honorable mentions will go down to, um, let's see here, Orion uh, Kalen, who guessed two minutes and 30 seconds. And he, I probably would have done it in 2.30 if it wasn't for the police and if it wasn't for those couple of hits that I had. Um, and let's see, who else here? And uh, looks like Jeff Connor on the other side, two minutes and 45 seconds. So if I was a few seconds slower, then uh, Jeff Connor probably would have gotten the shout out. But congratulations there to Firestone Gaming. Now, here's the opportunity to get the shout out in the next episode, because in the next one, I'm driving a Bentley. This is the Bentley Super Sport. And I'm gonna be driving it all the way, th again, through Vinewood, but we're gonna start this time at the golf course there in Rockford Hills, go through Vinewood down to the lighthouse, which is actually east of Grapeseed. So that is gonna be quite a long run from Rockford Hills to pretty much Grapeseed and then, and then some. So this is your opportunity, guys, now to go into the comments down below and guess how fast you think the Bentley Supersport will get from the golf course down to the lighthouse. And again, as I did right now, I will give a shout out to whoever comes the closest. That is gonna do it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate that. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button there if you haven't subscribed yet, and I will catch you on the next episode of GTA 5 Cars. Bye.